So it is the next day. Welcome to my vlog of day three here in Sarasota. Um, it is actually not the beginning of the day at all, so sorry about that. Um, but I'm vlogging on the first break that I really had, um, so let me catch you up. Today, this morning started very strangely because um, we were all kind of, it, because we're opera singers, like usually they don't have rehearsals before 10. So we were all kind of, you know, starting to wake up around 9, 9.30, and um, we're showering, getting ready for the day, and at 10 o'clock we hear a knock at the door, and we're like, who's coming and knocking on our door at 10 a.m.? And it turned out to be the um, maid service, which I told you we, we have someone come and do, you know, clean our apartment every week, but we have a schedule, and we were expecting him to come on Thursday, and it's currently Tuesday. So we were all very surprised and we showed them the, or actually, my two roommates, one of them left and one of them was like burrowed in her room so she didn't come out to talk. But I was kind of the spokesperson. And I went out um, and I showed them the schedule and I was like, no, you're, this says that you're coming on Thursday. And they're like, yes! And I was like, it's Tuesday. And so I, I realized very quickly from the conversation that they didn't speak English and that the schedule had not been communicated to them and they were just kind of doing it now. So if we wanted it clean, we had to just figure it out. And the reason like, I wouldn't have like insisted on any sort of schedule, except for the fact that we were very like um, uh, pointedly told, like if you want your, your apartment clean, you have to do these certain things. You have to like clear uh, the floor of your room, you have to take out the trash, you have to do this and this and this, just move everything out of the way so they can clean everything. And so we were like, ah, oh. so we kind of, two of my roommates, or one of my roommates didn't, like, opted to have her room not cleaned because she was just like, I don't want to deal with this. And the other one just left. She was like, if they clean it, great. If they don't, great. Whatever. And I was like, you know, trying to do all the things for my room. So I ended up getting my room mopped and um, my sheets cleaned and all of that. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, that was kind of like a hectic start to the day because I, I had to, like, walk around them and they were I was about to shower when they came so I had to wait for them to clean the bathroom and it was just kind of like Meh! just a surprise for the morning um and then I had a few a few rehearsals for some ensemble numbers that again it's like for the forbidden music concert um, so we went it, it was a lot of review there was one new piece that we went over but a lot of them is a review because it's just a bunch of music that's all very different and a like pretty complex and some of them were trying to do a cappella, which means it just we just have to really coordinate it and get it like airtight so that we don't fall apart um, so we had um, a couple of hours of rehearsal for that I came home for lunch and we had I had lunch with my roommates and then what happened and then right after that I had a, um, a, a Romeo coaching so I'm doing a scene from Icapoletti e Montecchi um, so there was a, a scene, this, the finale of the first act, where it's Romeo and Juliet and we're discovered. The Romeo and Juliet are discovered by the father and uh, her betrothed and all the, like, the, her family's army. So like everyone comes in and they're like, who is this? And it's discovered. So it was, a, it's a cool scene to do and it's beautiful music. So I'm excited, but uh, my voice is feeling very strange today. Like I said, I've been sick for a while and I'm finally going to the doctor tomorrow, but um, there's just, you know, a combination of just adjusting to the rigorous schedule, um, lady time, you know what I mean, um, and the, the congestion of whatever's going on in my, in my sinuses is just making it kind of difficult to sing. It's everything's going fine according to the outsiders. You know, the maestro have nothing but positive things to say, but it feels very strange and it's very tiring. Um, and like my voice just feels very strange at the moment. So I'm just really, really ready to feel better. <laughs> I don't know, I keep saying that, but I'm going to the doctor tomorrow morning. I have a ride at 6.30 a.m. to go to the doctor, so it's happening. Um, so then after that short rehearsal for Romeo, I went and had my first wig fitting, which you can tell could be kind of interesting because I have this brown and then this blonde. And so I was like, I don't know what they're going to, I mean, I assume I'm going to have to have a wig. And I actually do have, um, one of my roommates is one of the wig people. 
So she was like, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. So I got there, and it actually turned out to not be a fitting at all, really. They just got their matching colors right now, if we have to wear a wig. But I described my, um, my costume to them, and they told me that because I have a, a pretty large bonnet in the first act that I'm in, um, they probably will just have little, like, and I'm like, upper middle class, well-dressed, velvet, full bonnet, all that, that I'll have some coiffed, like, ringlets, like, attach little, um, curls down my neck, and it won't have to be a full, um, a full wig, which is kind of nice, because, like, the more you have on your head, the more you're kind of, like, you know, the, the dress I'm wearing is very heavy, the bonnet I'm wearing is very cumbersome, and, like, adding another wig, and, like, all these things, it's just a lot of weight on your head, and so, when you're singing, it's kind of nice to have as little impacting what's around you as possible, so, I'm perfectly happy not to have a wig, and to have just, like, the hat or the bonnet and the extensions and then for the other scene that I'm in in the second in the third act um, I'm a milkmaid and it's just like a, a very tight headscarf and I don't know if they're gonna have extra hair coming out of that or just have it like it's in a bun or something behind the headscarf who knows but they have now matched my um, hair color they had this hair color and this hair color and they're like don't worry about it we have seen many colors in a vast array um, from this whole cast, so don't worry about it, um, which was good. And then I came home, I've had a little bit of a break, I've been uploading like a fiend all of these vlogs. I finally um, got, because it's I just got internet last night, so I finally uploaded Arizona vlog 2 and 3 and then Sarasota day 1 and now I'm gonna edit Sarasota day 2 tonight and we are currently on Sarasota day 3 so it, I'm very new to this whole vlogging world because I'm constantly like looking at the past day and like I'm like uploading it like it was today but really I'm like ahead of it it's very strange but I kind of like it I've, I've enjoyed editing these videos and going back and watching them and seeing everything so um, I'm actually gonna take like a little bit of a nap oh wait I have to tell you okay so my mommy is the cutest I have to say look at this oh but look at this she sent me a package um, and it's actually this pink raincoat which um, didn't end up fitting her when she ordered it so she sent it to me and it's actually the perfect day for her to send it because it started raining but um, she sent this cute little love note saying I love you, sing well, enjoy yourself and take care of yourself Ma. and I got this card um, that had a little gift certificate from my godparents for it was actually for my um, graduation which was in May and it's Currently October, but that's okay. I love gifts anytime anyone's willing to give me them. So um, that was really sweet, having having some mail waiting for me and getting a little raincoat and having a love note and all that. So it was really nice. And now I'm just gonna lay down for a little while. I'm like I said, I'm just kind of like, Wah. but um, I'm think hoping maybe a nap will kind of put a little skip in my step again. Um, and tonight I have one coaching, a private coaching for um, a Schoenberg set. I'm singing several songs from Book of the Hanging Gardens, which if you've never listened to, I don't know much Schoenberg. I know the kind of the basics because of music history and repertoire classes I've taken, but I have not sing sung much Schoenberg, and it's challenging. It's beautiful, but it's challenging. And these songs are atonal in German very um, passionate and fast and um, just hard. So I'm eager to see how that goes. Eager might be a positive word for that, but I want to go ahead and just get it out of the way and hope for the best. Um, I know that everyone's kind of working on on their stuff, so it's not it's not like they're not going to expect perfection on the first time we work together, so it'll be fine. But, you know, I want to represent the hard work that I've put into it, and um, so I want it to go well. So I have that in, a, in an hour or so, and then right after that, from 7 to 9, we have more staging for La Boheme, which it's the market scene, so it's just a very complex staging, and we're all, we all have so many different roles of parents and vendors and buyers and um, middle class people who are passing through and all of these, all of these intricate little things that you, that flash by when you're an audience member, you just like, you don't even, you just, 
you see a market scene and you see things happening, but all of it has to be coordinated like minutely. So, you know, when you have 20, 25 people on the stage or even more doing individual things, all of those people have to be told exactly their path and like what's happening and all of that. So it's a lot of work and it takes a lot of time to coordinate, but it's going to come together so fun. I'm actually a little exclusive. Um, I am front and center at a table in a cafe, so I'm going to be like right there in front of everybody in the middle and I, um, I'm, it'll be, it'll be really cool. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hello. So today is the end of day three. I just got back from my rehearsal and, uh, I didn't really have much dinner because I kind of had to rush off to the, um, Schoenberg coaching, which went really, really well. He was very impressed with how well I learned, um, a bunch of atonal music, which was very good to hear. So it's a, off to a good start. And, um, then I went to the, re the staging rehearsal. We got most of the first act that I'm in staged, which was the bulk of it all. And uh, it went very well. So now I'm back and uh, I'm gonna wash up. He's talking to Matt. Hello, Matt. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. world. <laughs> Hello, world. Um, and head to bed, because I have a doctor's appointment at 6.30 a.m. tomorrow. Well, I have to leave for doc the doctor's appointment at 6.30, the appointment's at 7, so I'm going to go check out this weird sinus thing that I have and hopefully get it all sorted out and <sighs> onward and upward. All right, good night, friends. <laughs>